What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to G Miles World. Right now, we're going to be taking a look at the NFL Draft 2021 players. We're going to take a look at Golden Tickets. There's going to be some raid selling going on, so sit back, get your popcorn ready, and get ready for action. Right now, what I'm doing is what I always do. I want to take a look at the sets to see what's the, you know, what's the most cost-effective way of obtaining players. If the player has a set, if you're a guru, you know, check the set out. Like, see what it is. Like, all right, is it cheaper? We're going to save 20, 30K? It's coins. I know it doesn't mean a lot to some of you guys, but for some people, it's everything. So I'm always going to look for the best way to go after it. Now, when everything first launched, the prices were kind of crazy. Some of the stuff that you're seeing right now, by the time you actually go into your auction house, the prices are going to either come down a lot or it might have gone up a little bit. But for the most part, the golden tickets have, you know, steadily gone down primarily because they're in, you know, the inside of the training rerolls. So many people are using training. Like right now, when we first looked at this, Jadavion Clowney was 577. Throughout this video, he's gonna go down to 376. So I'm just gonna give you guys an example of the time frames and how it works. Right here, this guy, James Morgan, we checked him out as a golden ticket. Keep in mind, you see the ability slots, the field general, the strong arm, the scrambler, that's giving you the ability to get every one of the primary things for two, all right? Escape artist, two. Gunslinger, two. Hot Route Master 2. So you get so much more for less AP and then it just goes to other parts of your team. This Robert Woods, I just wanted to point out he's six foot 193. All that run blocking and stuff like that, he's not a good card. That card sucks because he's undersized. Now, if you want to use him primarily for like running a jumbo or you want to run like I Pro and you're not going to really throw the ball up to your receiver, that's fine. You know, the run blocking might work for you, but because he's so undersized, it, it, it's not really a W. You know what I'm saying? Because pretty much the way the game works, like when you're blocking somebody, your weight is taken into account. So he's so light and small. Dudes are going to be ram... Dude, he's going to get taken care of accordingly. It looks pretty, but those are just one of those things where you're like, all right, it looks pretty, but it's probably not as pretty as it looks. So I wanted to give you guys some idea of what's going on with the training variety packs. So I, you know, I opened a few of them trying to see what's good. The, for me, it was really, really bad. But while I was doing this on stream, I'm very, very happy to announce most of the viewers in my stream were pulling golden tickets like baby teeth, bro. Like, it was going crazy. So if I got to take the L for you guys to succeed, it's fine, dude. Keep pulling them. But because of the because of the golden tickets being in these sets, you're going to be able to get them for relatively decent prices. So go after it. See what it is. Just don't go bankrupt doing it. That's all I'm going to say, guys. Like, I know they're in there. I know you want an RG3 because he's one of the more expensive cards right now. Don't go bankrupt doing it. Please don't because it's not gonna benefit you at all. And then you're gonna end up in a situation where another card will drop that you want. We already know all of the golden tickets that are gonna be dropped. And for the most part, they're all garbage. But I don't wanna see any of you guys broke trying to get a golden ticket and a come up. Cause yeah, you're gonna probably get lucky here and there, but for the most part, EA never loses. So you have to be careful. Even when I pull something crazy, I know EA is gonna get me back on the back end. You know what I'm saying? So just be careful with that uh, the more you go because I did this and then I went back later in my stream and started doing it again like an absolute idiot. And I lost a lot of training. So EA is not playing games with certain, you know, certain users. But like I said, if you were lucky enough to pull one, GG's in the chat. You're all set. You know what I'm saying? Like sell it off. All right. If, especially if you got an RG3, sell him off immediately and just keep it moving. Now, if you want to keep him, that's all another story. I will be updating you guys later because we did actually end up just buying RG3. It just got to that point where it's like, you know what? Let's just buy him and try him out. Is his release as good as Farbs or Aaron Rodgers? No. But that Escape Artist for two, um, Hot Rot Master for two, all that stuff on his card, it works out pretty well for us. Because now it opens everything up. Remember, a lot of times people are going to send two and have a spy. Like, look at these prices. You see the prices, three mil, all this stuff. It's eventually going to come down uh, drastically. But I just wanted to, wanted to give you guys some insight into the cards. Let you guys see that it does have field general slots, scrambler, all that stuff. That's what makes it so that the AP is a lot less for the card. So that's really what the golden tickets are good for. Just allowing you to be able to take advantage of that. You know, getting better abilities for cheaper and not worrying about the archetype, it's all in one. All right, so what we're gonna do right now is I've been sitting on this Ultimate Legends pack, so we were just pretty much trying to pull anything. So we're gonna go ahead and open this pack up and take a look at some of the stuff that's going on. Remember, some of you guys held on to your packs for a while. You know, you guys were like, yo, g -Mai, I'm gonna do this, you know, I don't really care, I'm gonna wait to open it up to get golden tickets. I'm not sure how that's gonna be working out for many of you guys, but I can kind of assure you 
that EA Sports is not going to be putting golden tickets in a lot of those packs. So you're either going to have to go the training reroll variety or you're going to have to buy packs. That's pretty much the way it's going to have to be because I don't really see another way out of this uh, just because they put it into that reroll. But that, it doesn't mean that it's going to be an opportunity that all of you guys are going to be able to get it. What it does mean, though, is that we should get relatively like, look, you see how you went down 371? You see how fast this works? Um, what it means is everyone is going to get a chance to get a reasonable value for their cards. OK, so if you want to try Jadavion Clowney, remember when he first came out, I had him. I showed you guys. I said, look, he sucks. I got rid of him. If you guys want to right now try out these cards, now is the time to do it. Because people are going to consistently be trying to find different ways to get training. They're going to keep re-rolling. They're going to see that some of the cards are garbage. And then they're going to get rid of them. For instance, Mike Evans is like 400 and change right now. A lot of these cards, uh, RG3 is still like around 1.5 uh, at the time of this video. But all of the other things that you're seeing, they've come down in price drastically. Uh, Jadavion Clowney is still sinking. Some people are getting them for under 300. So you can look at those type of things. I want to make sure that you're well-rounded and you understand what comes with this. Because Kyle Pitts, this is what's so funny about this, right? We're looking, you guys know, yo, Robert Woods, G. Maya. Kyle Pitts is a, yo, he is a monster in this game. So how funny is it that that card is 322 and you had somebody that actually pulled a golden ticket, got an email from EA like, yo, what's up? You want to make a card? And they wrote back Robert Woods tight end. Even if you don't like, bro, even if you go like, um, what's the other dude's name? I forgot. Uh, the tall dude, uh, Jimmy Graham. Even if you go Jimmy Graham, give him like 99 speed. Like there's so many other things you can do. They said Robert Woods. And then now you have another tight end. That's a draft player. I will guarantee you this, right? Even with all the stuff that's on that tight end, Kyle Pitts will play better for you. Like this is what I'm, I'm just letting you guys understand because remember, the game is about balance. As we raid sell Brett Favre, this felt so good, bro. I've been trying to get rid of him for a while, but it's kind of weird because when I actually used the card I just bought, when I was looking at that dude is garbage. Like th that card is absolute trash. The golden ticket quarterback um, that I just showed you, uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at his numbers though so you guys can look at it. I just wanna make you guys understand that James Morgan, his release is terrible. Um, some of you guys are saying it's similar to what, uh, you know, um, the other guy is that we're going to actually have RG3, but I didn't feel that way when I used both the cards. So I actually used both of them and saw what it was about. I will give you guys some gameplay on that, but I'm just letting you guys understand. I didn't really see anything where it's like, oh my God, this guy is pretty good. And I know going from, you know, Brett Favre, Aaron Rodgers, you're never going to get that speed unless you get that, you know, that same type of throw motion as the actual uh, throwing archetype for the guy. Like you have to have that specific setting for that throw animation and they don't have it. But I will tell you this, RG3 is probably gonna be suitable for now. You know what I'm saying? There is no golden ticket Mike Vick unless one of the developer uh, developers come out with that because that's all we're gonna be pretty much waiting on, the developer's golden ticket. So this is it right here. The ability slots, field general, strong arm, and scrambler, right? So when you go through it and you're looking at it, say you wanna try the golden ticket and you wanna use all of you know the abilities and get the cheapest aspect of it, right? You know that the first three slots are field general. So you're saving on you're saving on hot route master. All right. Now you got a strong arm seg segment too. So you're saving on gunslinger. Then you get a scrambler. So you're saving on escape artist. All of these things matter. All right. All of these things are going to make you a nightmare against your opponent. I just want you guys to understand this card is hot trash. It sucks. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that he was such a low overall card. So EA didn't pay attention to his throwing motion or anything like that, and they're not going to adjust it. Even if you have Gunslinger on the card, if they throw a certain way, it's going to remain that way. EA is not gonna update it so that all of a sudden he's throwing like Aaron Rodgers. So I just want you guys to understand that. If you wanna try it, you can try it. It's kinda cool, you know, getting Conductor for one, all that stuff, that's all a beautiful thing. But when you get down to it, he doesn't release the ball well, and he doesn't throw it like his numbers say. So what, for whatever reason, you know, his price went down immediately. So this is what happens, right? The community goes ahead, they start pulling packs, they grab the card, right? They immediately put it up for the highest price ever. But some people actually bring that player into a game and see what's going on with it. And then more and more people start to see what's wrong with the card, and then now the price plummets. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's why you can get him right now for dirt cheap. 
everybody understands he's not a good card. So primarily, like I said, it depends on how you play the game though. Because just because you're getting this stuff for cheap, that doesn't mean that any quarterback that you use is gonna be good. I just wanna make sure that that's clear as well. It's just the opportunity of having that luxury of saving on the ability points. So now what we're gonna do, we're going to create Kyle Pitts. All right, we're gonna go ahead, get a 97, and then we're gonna go ahead and get one of the 95s, and then we're gonna create a Kyle Pitts. I was not ready for how good this card is. I, I gotta be totally honest, I wasn't ready. This dude, like, he, run, he runs skinny posts, he runs streaks, he runs crossers, he runs everything like a complete champion. And he mosses. So you can just throw it up like an idiot. Now look, let me explain this to you. I don't know what EA Sports did, but I played somebody earlier that was mossing me with Lazad, and it was kind of continuous. So I don't know if they just opened it up back to make it so that everybody can try to moss or whatever because of the release of some of these cards. But I do want to let you guys know, I was getting mossed uncontrollably earlier today. Now I was mossing dudes back, but that's not what this is about. I'm just letting you guys know, with the right ability, you can do whatever you want right now. Like the game is completely tuned. That roster update, yeah, they were going ham. So look at his numbers. This is what he looks like with, you know, just sprinter on him and uh, play fake maxed out. So it looks really, really good. But at the end of the day, what is his release like? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's his release? So that's what we're, that's what we're gonna talk about later. I'll show you guys some gameplay uh, possibly later on with that. Uh, Travis Kelsey now, this dude has to go. There's no real reason to keep him anymore. So he has to just go kick bricks. Like nobody really cares about him anymore, he's done. This dude, Kyle Pitts, bro, is about to take his spot and just chill. Like it's just gonna be what it is and that's it. I'm not worried about anything else, I don't care. This is what's going on and this is how we're gonna do it. We have so many things that we can do at this point. I could actually come out running my old school offense from last year. Like realistically, I can go back and run it like, you know, stretch and streaks. The problem is the stretch run is not as OP as it once was. So that could give me an issue. But either way, this guy is going, we got to rage sell him too. So that's two red, uh, two rage sells, one cup. Like I'm gonna tell you right now, Brett Favre, he does throw the ball super fast. He's very inaccurate. And I don't know why that is. Some of you guys are like, yo, g -Mile, what's up with inside Deadeye? Dude, I had that on and it made him throw the ball even worse. I, I don't know what you guys are into, but it is what it is. The bottom line is we're gonna give Kyle Pitts deep in, deep out, and we're gonna put him out on the field. You guys are gonna be very, very amazed. Um, we have to kind of see if EA is gonna keep the gameplay the way it is right now, or are they seeking to now go ahead and you know, proceed to keep tuning the game up by giving us roster updates in the off season. I don't know how they're going to do it, but somehow, some way, the game is gonna change at least four or five more times before we jump into Madden 22. But either way, Kyle Pitts is the move, guys. Like, I've seen enough. Darren Waller, does he moves like a real agile guy. Darren Waller moves like a complete idiot, and EA is not gonna fix that. They're just gonna let that rock and just see what happens. EA is not concerned about your problems, so don't worry about it too much. Like, they don't care. Like, just understand that that's just the way it is and deal with it. That's pretty much where it is with EA Sports. So these are his numbers right now. Look, I, you know what's so weird? I didn't even check his deep route running. I'm just letting you guys see 99, 99, 97, you know, 99 short route, medium, uh, 99 catch. His strength is pretty decent. You could play him at wide receiver. I believe he's a gold 99 at wide receiver. Bro, it's on. That's all I'm gonna tell you, bro. The Kyle Pitts era begins now. We're gonna have a great time with him. We're gonna see how it's gonna work out and hopefully you guys will join me on that journey. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. Enjoy your day, stay well, one love y'all.